Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you how to make melodic dubstep slash future bass style chords like Foria does. And I want to split up this series in two parts. In this video I want to focus mainly on the sound design of the chords. And in the second video I want to take you step by step through the mixing and mastering of the track. I've prepared this small template so let's check out what it sounds like right now. by making the chords and I've made this chord progression already so I can start right off the first thing I want to show you is this saw wave chord stack I want to take you all right so basically what this is is it's, it's a serum patch and it's two oscillators set to 16 unison and detuned the detune is uh, triggered, modified by this modulator. And basically, what it does is whenever the sound starts to play, the detune goes up. Same holds for the filter, and it, the filter triggers the, is triggered by the first oscillator, second oscillator, the noise, and the sub. This LFO gate controls uh, the cutoff, so when the sound is playing, low is not cut off and when the sound stops playing the filter is triggered. For the effect just a small hyper dimension uh, with the mix all the way down to 1% and the mix of the hyper all the way down to about 13%. Add a small distortion hard clip and put the drive to about 36% and the mix down to about 40%. For the delay, a small ping pong delay with the sides cut off and then the mix all the way down to about 1%. Small reverb, just uh, make sure it's set on plate, turn down the size, low cut and high cut about 57%, spin depth all the way up and the mix down to about 1%. And for EQing, cut off the low end and boost the high end a little bit. Alright, so that's it for this sound. As you can hear, it's already processed, but that's for another video. Alright, so the second sound we want to make is copy these chords. And basically, very easy. Turn up the, an octave, the init preset, just a square, uh, sorry, a saw. Add some unison, about 8. Whenever you have a better CPU, you can turn it up to 16, but 8 should suffice. Some old G tune. Make sure, make sure to lower the volume so it just adds up to the brightness of the first chord. And then the third chord is a harmonic patch. And I will want to create this chord as follows. Still very easy. Turn the order to 9, set the pan and the face all the way up. Oh, no, sorry, turn it to about. Yeah, uh, turn, leave it all the way up and leave the thickness of the pitch about 60%. it for this chord so basically three very easy chords that on itself already sound very bright because they've been mixed properly but I'll show that in the next video alright so the second thing we want to make is the basses the basses are actually more important than the chords itself because they provide the body of the track. Alright, so how we're going to do this is as followed. We'll start off by copying the root notes of the chords. G, A, B and F. Alright, so 
go to basses and add that. All right, so the first bass is the Xan Bass 3. And basically what this is, is I selected the PMM Juno, give it a small detune and set the unison to 12. For the second oscillator I selected this to what tech, set it to 14 unison and detuned it the same as oscillator 1. Turn the RFO up all the way down by changing this knob and left the envelope as it was. Then for the effects, compress it, just a multiband compressor, hyper dimension, same for the chords, just a small EQ to cut off the lows, and a distortion lint fold with the drive set to minimum and the mix about 22%. For the second bass, it's a basic shape with a uh, custom made wave table with the volume down to 30% and the first just a sound wave. Sounds like this. Noise in harm from FP in harms and the just a hyper dimension, a lot of distortion compression, EQ and the filter to cut off the highs. Then for the last bass it's just a simple 306 3x OCS OSC sorry um, sine wave with the two and three oscillator turned down, so just the first oscillator that works. Together they sound like this. Now with together with the chords. Sounds like that. turn down all the chords just an octave um, so it plays the mower bass within the bass region of the track all right so that's for the chords and bass <laughs> nothing too crazy right now basically it can be really easy chords um, presets if you just back them right then for the lead, we'll put it on default. Alright, so the lead is actually even more easy than the chords. So what is happening for the lead, um, leave it to this, the soul wave it is, go to effects, turn on the distortion, set it on lock and turn up the filter and the distortion amount. Basically what this does is it distorts this soul wave until it becomes a square wave. It sounds like that. You could then the last thing we have to do is go to pitch. Turn up the pitch in the beginning and actually turn on the pitch. As you can hear, it pitches down as soon as it hits from an entire octave to uh, the octave it's playing. Right, so we'll <coughs> create a simple lead sound. Uh, just by coming up with something like this. Alright, that's too fast. Thank you. 
that then maybe we want to change a few notes so we'll put this to E D Alright and then copy it again so we create a 16 bar sorry a 9 bar uh, melody put it like that and then Maybe for the last part we can change up the chords a little, the notes a little bit by making it like this. Maybe the A. a sounds fine so together with the lead the track sounds very nice then for the last thing we want to do is add a plug just to support the chords uh, it can be very basic just make something like we did with the lead the D A C A. Oh. All right, that sounds fine. Then add it again to follow up with the chord progression, like that. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Copy it. Alright, so this is what the finished result sounds like. <laughs> Alright, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Um, I'll upload the FOP as soon as I uh, discuss the actual mixing of it so in the second video the FOP will be included thank you for watching and keep updated <laughs>